today we are going to make a double exposure photo or image so today we are going to use some free images from unsplash.com i will link them in the description box so let's get started first we will import our image go to the wrench tool add and insert a photo i have chosen this photo okay so make it fit to the screen okay so if you're choosing the same photos it's better if i tell you my canvas size it is two two one zero pixels into three thousand three hundred and sixteen pixels you can just click on this and change it okay so now we have this head over here i'm going to refer to it as head and now you're on layer one you're going to go to a new layer make sure the background is white you know except this background we want another background just for our reference we'll go to monoline and properties and i'm going to extend the maximum size i'm going to choose the color white and i'm going to increase the size and i'm going to color the entire page if i remove this i should be able to see entire white so just if it if you want to check if it's entirely white you can remove the background color and if it's still there we're good okay now if you don't want your monoline to be like that just reset it click on reset so it's now normal back to normal how it was okay now we have our face over here and we will be adding another photo insert a photo this is clouds okay these are clouds and you could choose any clouds image I'm going to extend it so much that if it's the entire page, entire canvas. Okay, this looks good. And now go to the magic wand, hue, saturation, brightness, click on layer, and I'm going to decrease the saturation entirely and I'm going to decrease the brightness a little bit as well and now click on the end this N over here click on the end it's N because it's a normal you have to go to multiply okay and you can see change to M because it's multiply and this lighten it's an ally so our image disappears again but it doesn't matter go to insert a photo again this time you're going to choose buildings just make it really really big and put it in put, place it below layer one okay place it below layer one and you can slightly see the lips over here lips the jawline the hair so now you want to change it so that the whole face is seen i think that looks good mm. yes okay so now go to the magic wand again hue saturation brightness layer and you'll change it to black and white and you can select your brightness level 
I am going to go to this one. And you're going to add a new layer right above the inserted image. That is our building's image. You're going to go to airbrushing, soft brush, and your color would be black. And you're supposed to color on the areas you don't want the buildings to show or you want to highlight. So this is not going to work if it's on top of this again. You see how it is. It should be below the face and about the buildings. You're going to make sure we have our perfect image. So I'm seeing to that it, it's not this blackness is not going to go outside of the face. Okay, this is looking good. And now I'm going to go to the buildings. I'm going to go to the eraser. It's set to soft brush as well. I'm going to increase the size. And I don't want the buildings to be here. You see how there's a lot of change when I'm erasing. Because all those buildings are going away. We don't want those buildings. just slightly erase off this area and the rest is perfect so we've almost got it you can keep it this way or you can add some words yep you can add some words so the way to add that words just insert a photo again I have inserted this image okay it's going to insert over here move it all the way to the top and you make sure of the si that the size is correct. Okay, so now that we've positioned it, we are going to go to the select and we are going to go to automatic. We're going to zoom our image and we're going to select our bird. And we are going to, you see what I did there? I just used my three fingers and went down. And you get this drop down list and click on copy. Go to a new layer, slide down again, paste. And you can change the position. Yes. And you're gonna duplicate. And you're gonna.
So this is all it for today and I hope you really liked how to make a double exposure photo and maybe I'll come up with a different set next time. So thank you!